Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's see if we've learned a few things in the previous videos, understanding the various postulates. So we're going to use the concept of those postulates now to answer the question, which of these statements are not correct? So first of all, we have two planes. We have plane R and plane Q. And here there's an indication that plane R and plane Q are perpendicular to one another because we have a line that's in plane R, which has points A, B, and C. And C, notice that this line is perpendicular to the plane Q, which means since A, the line ABC is in plane R, and if that line is perpendicular to plane Q, then plane R must also be per perpendicular to plane Q. Where plane R and plane Q intersect, we have a line. On the line, we have the two points B and D. Then we have another line which lies in plane Q, which contains points D and E. And then we also see that plane Q contains another point, point F, which is not collinear with these two points D and E, because it's not on the line that connects D and E. So let's, let's now go ahead and try to figure out which of these statements is not a correct statement. First of all, they ask us, are A, B, and C collinear, or they make the statement, a, and a, B, and C are collinear. Is that a true statement? You see, A, B, and C are on the same line, and if three points are on the same line, then they must be collinear. So yes, that is a true statement. The next statement, F, B, and E are collinear. Well, we can see that B and E are not collinear because they do not lie on the same line, and F does not lie on either one of these two lines, so therefore, they cannot be collinear, so that's not a correct statement. The next statement, AB is perpendicular to plane Q. Here we can see that AB is on the line from A to B to C, and we have an indication that that line is perpendicular to plane Q, so that would then be a correct statement. The next statement, DE is perpendicular to plane R. So here we have a line that is in a line that is in plane Q, and we know that plane Q is perpendicular to AB, or to plane R, which is perpendicular to AB. So is the question, DE, is it perpendicular to plane R? Well, let's see here. Notice that you can have this oriented in any direction since it lies in the plane and the plane Q is perpendicular to R. That means that line must also be perpendicular to R. So that's therefore a correct statement. And finally, we have the line AC intersect or line AC intersects, I guess I need an S, line BD at point B. Well, let's look at line AC, that's this line right here, and we look at line BD, which is the line where we have an intersection between plane R and plane Q, and notice they intersect at this point right here, which is at point B, so again, that appears to be a true statement. So there's only one statement out of the five, which is not a correct statement, and we found that that's how it's done.